All right, I want to get right to it. You came on here because you said you had an announcement to make right. about where you want to play next year. What are you doing? Uh, next year, take my talents to the NBL okay. and play for the Illawarra Hawks. Excellent, over in Australia. Yep. Absolutely. Why did you decide wow. this is the way to go for you? Uh, you know, I just think it's the best route for me. I'm trying to be the number one pick for the 2020 draft, so... I heard they got great uh, strength and conditioning over there. So off the court, that'd be good. And then on the court, you know, pros been through there, stuff like that. So I yeah. think it's all going to help. And it's just best for me, I think. Yeah. was good 10k game now today's video i'm going to be talking about lamello ball so breaking news you guys just recently lamello has announced that he will be taking his talents overseas to play for the illawarra hawks next fall to compete in the australian national basketball league but this video i just want to talk about this decision and just explain to you guys how lamello actually has a high chance to become the number one pick in the 2020 nba draft so first congratulations to lamello for finally figuring out his next destination for his basketball career throughout these past few months i've been making a lot of videos on lamello trying to figure out where he's going to go to next and you know ever since rj hampton committed to the New Zealand Breakers, a lot of people really felt like LaMelo was going to go overseas and play with RJ Hampton. But as you can see, that was not the case. Now, honestly, in my opinion, I really feel like the reason why we had to wait so long for LaMelo to finally decide on where he wants to go is because I really feel like him and his family was trying to figure out if the NCAA was going to allow him to play. But now that we're heading towards the end of June and there's still no word on LaMelo Ball's NCAA eligibility. And that's why the Ball family is starting to take matters in their own hands by just sending LaMelo overseas and getting ready for the 2020 NBA draft. Now, honestly, in my opinion, I really feel like the Ball family already made up their mind that LaMelo was going to play for the Illawarra Hawks back in March. But of course, knowing the Ball family, they're not going to let everybody know right away just because of who they are. They got to make sure everything lines up with their TV show and stuff. So instead of them telling us where LaMelo was going to go, they just told us that his two options was playing for China or going overseas to play for Australia. Now let's talk about LaMelo Ball's chances to be the number one pick in the 2020 NBA draft. So I know you guys remember when LeVar Ball had an interview on First Take yesterday. And during that interview, LeVar Ball basically flat out said that he really feels like LaMelo Ball would be the number one pick in the 2020 NBA draft. And LaMelo also even said himself that he wants to be the number one pick in the NBA draft. So if you guys are not informed, on NBADraft.net, LaMelo is already projected to be the third pick in the 2020 NBA draft, being selected by the Phoenix Suns, sitting behind Anthony Edwards, who is projected to be the number one pick being selected by the New York Knicks, and also Isaiah Stewart, who is projected to be the number two pick being selected by the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, honestly, in my opinion, I really feel like there's a high chance LaMelo could be the number one pick, but it all depends on how good he plays overseas this following year. Even though we all know LaMelo is an outstanding basketball player, during his senior year at Spire, he was averaging 21 points, nine rebounds, 10 assists. Even when he was playing overseas for the JBA USA team, he was averaging about 30 plus points and over 10 assists. So LaMelo, we all know what he can do on the court, but at the same time, NBA scouts are really going to be watching him develop his game to see if he's developing his game as an NBA player such as watching his strength and conditioning also we all know lamella ball lacks defense sometimes so there's going to be a lot of small things that nba scouts are going to be watching lamello to see if he's even able to be a number one pick this upcoming year is going to be very important for lamello because nba scouts are really going to be watching him lamello is a 6'8 point guard who can handle the ball shoot the ball extremely well he's a floor general can get his teammates open shots he's just like his older brother lonzo ball just a better scorer so nba scouts are definitely going to be watching lamello and he's really going to be on everybody's radar but like I said, there's going to be small things that are going to be watching him, such as his strength and conditioning and all these other little things that's going to determine if he's going to be a number one overall pick. So LaMelo really just can't be slacking how he was. He has to have a professional mindset and just stay focused. The sky really is the limit for LaMelo Ball if he can stay focused and stay on track. Honestly, in my opinion, I really feel like there's an 80 to 85 percent chance that LaMelo will be the number one pick in the 2020 NBA draft. So I want you guys to leave your comments below on how y'all feel about this. 
and also leave y'all percentage below on what percent y'all feel like LaMelo will be the number one pick in the NBA draft. Also, make sure you guys go subscribe to my second channel called 10 k Wallace Vlogs. Bangers will be uploaded on that channel very, very soon. I thank you guys for watching. If you make sure you like and subscribe, make sure you press the notification button. TK Game, we out.